Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel and welcome welcome to Raggedy Sam. <laughs> I just came outside, okay, from the gym, okay. Here we go, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, 20 to 21. Hopefully the hashtag is can relate, not can't relate, Sal. So. Okay, here we go, 20 to 21 is a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see here what you guys have for me. Here we go, Scorpios, 20. To the 21. Sir Dilis. Got a King of Wands. Could be connecting with an Aries. All right. This energy is about okay. Well, known to be a good starter. Okay. Meaning, uh, how to say this? There is a part where this person can start the conversation with you very fiery and also cut you off like you, like they don't even care. I don't know why I'm hiding my face. <laughs> but. Yes, yeah, Sammy. Like, they have that energy. This can be you also. So it appears to be that they're cold, but they're not. Because they're, you know, like, when you get it going, this person is going, going, going. And then, bam, distant. Okay. And it's like, they don't text you. They don't call you. You know, it's like, it's just like a person who, who seems like they can be in and out of your life, even though they're a king. You know? very masculine energy that it's like you don't tell me what to do you know i do it my way the king of wands energy but you feel the connection you feel that they like you oh definitely if you're dealing with the king of wands they know, you know that they like you vice versa every cross watcher you get a six of pentacles so they're they're right there as he told you but only you know only when you ask like you're you can be the one who's always initiating always trying to get their attention and then they have a lot of things going around them but this can be this can be the other person the six of pentacles i feel here that when they reach out to you or you reach out to them because you're gonna say here it's like i only get breadcrumbs sell okay i only get like a little bit of attention a little bit of time you know they're always gonna be busy doing a lot of things with the king of wands with a fortune mm. but you hear jock butt over here they are husband material though. Very. This is, a, uh, you know, a Karaka for husband. Jupiter. Aquarius, Taurus, you Scorpio. Fixed sign, of course. But Jupiter is ruled Pisces. Vedic, Sidereal. Also Sag. So this person can travel a lot as your profession. Has deep wisdom. You can talk deep with this person. But, oh, wow, look at that one. Look at this. But I feel like both of you are in some sort of prime, okay? Regardless of age, because the other person here can be, has some sort of following. Sun with the Six of Pentacles, this is famous. This is young and famous, I feel. This is a sun in, oh, right now it's going to be a sun in Capricorn and Leo rising. Okay. Because the sun already has shift to Capricorn. Vedic sidereal. Jupiter is in Scorpio, so it could be meeting. So, see, that's why the whole mysteriosity energy here this is Mars. Mars rules uh, Scorpio. So, very mysterious energy. Big when it comes to showing themselves to you. Like, it's like you feel it. Everything. You know, with this When I say big and you feel everything, is their presence, not their present. Okay. And it was like a fortunate accident between the two of you. Faith brought you together. And you, you know, this is about being happy together. When you guys are together, ah, the vacation, the time of your life is there between you and this person. Amazing connection. If they've left you, they're coming back now here. Queen of Wands. Scorps, we did this. We did this. I will do again a time prediction every time with you guys. Okay. I will do again another time prediction. I'm gonna get another um deck there. But this is Jupiter. See, I told you when I say Jupiter is right, this is King and Queen of Wands. This can be a Leo that you're connecting with an Aries fire sign. But this is indicative of your transit. You guys always get this uh, cards because only if I get the Wheel of Fortune, that's when I um you know because that indicates a time. Okay. So there's coming your way. You guys are coming together. And this double Leo over here can be a sun in Leo and Leo rising also. Meaning they're in the early, um, late August. 
from the August. Oh, here we go, Emperor. Ooh, -hoo, Daddy. This is someone who's really, really famous. Business person. If it's not, they have good, um, good business. They're not famous because there's always a group with this person, always taking care of a lot of people. With the sun card over here, this person is blessed here by abundance, I feel. You're connecting or this is you. If this is you, you're blessed by abundance of happiness and joy and even material things. Emperor works hard though. So if you work hard, you get the money. Abundance is coming. Only because the sun is in Capricorn right now. That's why I'm talking about it because Capricorn is the natural 10th. And that's reflective of our, um, you know, of our self in society. So someone here is very much like... You know, people look up to Sun and Capricorn. If it's not, and if you have a Sun in your 10th house, that's good also. That's exalted right there. People see you as someone who helps other people and a, a philanthropist, if this is you. But someone who's level-headed. Um, very good person, this one. So you met someone. I feel like both energies are already mixed. It's not about this. It's not about them. But it's about two people who are meant to be each other. I told you, fated event. With the Wheel of Fortune. Fate brought these two people together. And it's almost like a power couple. I mean, like, you know, I have to use the, the label of the humans. Like, you know, this can be the twin, if they call it. The twin. The yin and the yang. And the soulmate. The opposite. The other half. Okay. But there is something going on here that will bring you extreme joy and happiness. Because the wheel will spin now. Okay, now, don't laugh because I need to get my other deck for the extended because I'm wearing my, my <laughs> I'm wearing a swim shorts. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get my time card. So there is a specific card that I use here. Okay. There is a specific card that I use for, for predicting um, time here. Okay. So this is what I can see. Two people fated to be together. A lot of fire, a lot of passion, stable career. Um, Six of Pentacles here is going to give you what you need and what you want in your life. The happiness, joy. The sun card is also going in the same direction. We had this reading recently, just saying, okay? Same position of the cards, Scorps, okay? Anyhow, Scorpio, in the extended read, you know, besides the usual that you get, you know, how they feel, this, um, more of the situation, I'm going to use the other deck to look at the timing of the events, the date, the month, the week, okay? So link down there in the description box for the extended read. We'll see how it goes. Again, only if you vibe with it, okay? Because it is not for everybody. But if you feel, then here we go. Let's see the time, okay? I'll see you guys again, scores. bye. Hi everyone. No, this is not an unboxing. Kidding. <laughs> so I decided recently, <laughs> with the January eclipse coming, um, it is happening in Vedic Sidereal and um, in Cancer, um, which is also happening in the Nakshatra of Pusha. Um, I'm gonna I'm not gonna dive to the deep astrology part of it, but I've decided to make a bundle for this eclipse. We all know that eclipse happens, uh, when eclipse happens, um, there are some major life changes that happens in this period of time. Now, it doesn't happen during the day itself. Those energies are fluid. Chances are it's gonna be six six months after the, psych the eclipse happened. That, based on my experience, it always does happen like that. Even last year when we had the the blue moon, the you know the three eclipses happening in the same 30 days, that was happening July and August. And then watch how you see everything has changed during December. A lot of things finish off, a lot of things manifest during December time. It wasn't really about Christmas. No tea, no shade with the Christmas, okay? <laughs> but with regards to changes that will happen um, with, with the eclipse, I'll make a separate video about that. This one is for those people who wants to have the same manifestation that I'm doing with this eclipse. I, I'm gonna be cleansing. I'm gonna, only gonna be doing 30, okay? Because this is very special, meaning I'm, I can only do 30, okay? <laughs> so we have this, the Moonstone and the Sunstone, and then um, the smudge kit that we have, Selenite, Palo Santo, and the White Sage. This is also gonna come with it. You, when you get this uh, bundle, 
I already have done my cleansing, that's why I put this here. I also use my crystal bowl for um, vibration-wise frequency. I also do my candle, my scent, my incense. I, I use a white opal for my resin when I cleanse the crystal, when I, when I prepare it for manifestation, for your heart intention. And uh, the candle is just for you, you know, get, getting all the elements, basically. Now you know the tea with regards to how I, I cleanse and charge the crystals that you guys get from, um, from me. So you have all the elements. So you have the smoke, the air, you have the water, you have the fire. And then the next thing you need is Aang from, an, you know, from Nickelodeon. Kidding. <laughs> so, but you have all the elements. Now the earth, the last property would be, of course, this thing, the crystals. Because this thing comes from Mother Earth. So now you know. So you go through the, all the elements and then you are ready when you're cleansing. Then now you have all these things. You're smudging, you're cleansing your aura, you're preparing for the cycle. And then after that, okay, I think I digress. So I cleanse it for you when you get it. You got me. Then when you get it, when you get it for the 30 people who's gonna get it, you will also get a video from me on how to use it, depending on your intention. Capish? Okay, so there it is. I think I was going everywhere with that one, okay? But anyhow, so I'm only doing 30. I need to cleanse this. Um, you can, you know, the link down there in the description box if you guys wanna, if you guys wanna get the bundle that I'm creating. Again, there's only 30 and I'm not gonna make any more. And this is just for this um, eclipse that we're having um, this January, okay? I'll see you guys again, bye.